A central Oklahoma school bus driver spent months getting kids to and from class even after prosecutors say he committed a child sex crime. The delay just part of this story we've spent all day uncovering. News 9's Barry Mangold joins us now with the very latest. Barry? Yeah, Amanda Carl, the suspect in this case was charged in 2020 with two counts of sexually assaulting a minor. Although he was charged over a year and a half ago, the school didn't find out about it until last month. Timothy Kanzler turned himself into the Pottawatomie County Jail last month, charged with child sex crimes. He told me tonight, quote, I am not guilty. It's important to note the allegations against Kanzler do not involve his job of the last five plus years, driving a school bus in Tecumseh. The Tecumseh school superintendent tells me they did not receive any notification from law enforcement about the 2020 charges and only found out after Kanzler self-reported. The superintendent said, quote, as soon as officials with Tecumseh Public Schools were made aware of the allegations about the employee, he was placed on administrative leave until legal proceedings have concluded. The open question now, why was there a 17-month gap between the district attorney filing criminal charges and the filing of a probable cause affidavit, which is the document necessary to make an arrest? During that period, Kanzler was allowed to drive a school bus despite being a suspect of child sex crimes. And today I've been in touch with the Pottawatomie County District Attorney and the County Sheriff, whose office was behind the investigation. We'll be working to get answers and we'll report back on this story later this week. Barry Mangold, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.